Welcome guys, Red here. In today's video we're gonna be talking about the movement guide. You guys already know we have a new uploading schedule and today is Friday so we're gonna have an how-to guide. And today's how-to guide is the movement guide. Everyone has been waiting for this. Alright, let me start off with some facts and why would you like and want to learn this kind of stuff. It's basically just to have the smoothest and the most optimal movement in every scenario in the shortest time. That's what you, why you want to do it. We're going to be talking about so many stuff. I'm going to talk I'm going to say all of them right now, then we're going to talk about the basics and we're going to talk about each and every one of these stuff that I'm going to say right now in detail. All right. Start off with shooting while moving, we have healing and moving, we have running in an unpredictable pattern to dodging bullets, which is going to lead me to my other point, which is dodging bullets, and also peeking and moving, and finally jumping and moving. Alright, start off with some basic stuff. Everyone knows when you want to move, you're going to go to the left part of your screen, click on this joystick and move around, just like I'm doing right now. If I go left, it goes left, go right, right, up, up, down, down. But guys, this is not the only part for movement. Let me show you this, when you, when I aim to this side, look at my head, it's kinda sticking out of the body to the right side. You see this? The head is more leaning to the, to the part where you're looking at. If I do this, it's leaning to the right side now. And it's gonna be more obvious if I crouch, I'm gonna show you this, look at this. The head is completely on the right side and the body is more to the left side. So let's get started guys, we're gonna start off with the running and dodging part and then the jumping and so on and so forth. So guys, let's start off with the running and dodging part. Well, I, well how I like to run is basically just go in a zigzag pattern. This is when I don't get shot and I'm just running to go into the circle or I'm just heading to a specific point. This is how I like to run, a small zigzag pattern. But then, when I get shot, I'm gonna show you two patterns I like to use to when I get shot and then you can get more advanced by adding other parts such as crouching and, and jumping. I'm gonna be more simple at the beginning then I'm gonna show you the advanced parts. So you're not getting shot, you're running like this, small zigzag, you're getting shot, you start going in a big zigzag pattern. This is if you can if you can't use a claw or you can't press that many buttons, this is the best way to dodge. Go in a zigzag pattern. You can go further away, a bit further away, go closer away, just to bait the enemy. We're gonna be talking about it real real quick. So the first one is just going in a wide zigzag. How you can get advanced with this first pattern is just going zigzag, crouching, going to the right side, go zigzag, crouching, going to the left side. More advanced, you add jumping, but we're gonna talk about it separately in the video. Now the second pattern that I like to use, I go to the right side, I crouch bait to the left and I keep going to the right. This is a very, very important thing. I, I, I use this a lot because people suck at aiming. Bait him to the right with a small uh, crouch peeking on the right side then I keep going, go left, bait left, go right, keep going right, bait left, go right. This is how I like to do it. Now we're gonna head back to the jumping guys, part. About jumping. There's two parts to jumping. The first one is jumping while dodging bullets or running. And the second part is jumping to to go from one object to the other one, sort of bunny hopping. So yeah, we're gonna talk about the first one, which is running and jumping at the same time. I've told you about the two patterns I use. Crouch, go left, crouch, go right, or go right, crouch. Go right, crouch, bait left, go right again, or left at the same time, like this. And I like to add jumping to this mix, and so when I like to jump, there's only two ways I like to jump. I never jump straight, I never jump sides, I never jump the other side. What I like to jump is at this two, let's say this is a clock, I'm get, I like to jump at 2 or 10. So if I'm running like this, baiting enemies, and I jump to the 2 a.m., so good and it gives you so much distance and I don't think anyone can uh, have the, the the tracing of his aim and on you while you jump this so it's very very efficient I also like to look behind me while I'm doing this 
just to see if there's anyone following me, especially in first person. There's also a different technique, which is the second part of chopping that I'm going to be talking about right now. And if, if you know that, like, let's say you're on the, on the balcony of a building and everyone knows if you jump next to the wall, you're going to climb it or you're going to fall down. But if you know this technique, you face left or you face back or you face the other side, right? You just jump and walk backwards and you're going to climb this object. You're not going to jump over it. I'm going to show you that now. So if I stand like this and I jump, it's going to fall, fall all the way over here. But if I go sideways and I jump, I'm standing on it. This is a technique I like to use a lot. So and also like jumping from one side to the other. You see this 2 2 a.m. and 10 a.m. technique. I like to use it a lot while I'm jumping and bunny hopping. So if I want to jump, I can do it like this. I jump this object instead of just climbing it. This is so important. I like to use this into also peeking windows, which we're going to be talking about real real soon. Alright, let's try to go to the peeking part. And what I like to do, if you jump, it's, you can jump the window, right? Everyone knows this. But if you jump and crouch on the window, you're in the middle of the window, you can peek the window, shoot, stop peeking, take cover. Peek again, shoot, stop peeking, take cover. You're not gonna... You, this is so, so, so important, especially while, when you're in the second floor. And you can also use the same technique just to get out of the window and go around the wall of the second floor and jump in from a different window. Alright, I'm gonna... I also have a technique that I've showed in the previous video I had, which is new technique that's been added to the game. I'm calling it the Superman jump, which is like this, where you can just jump windows. And how do you do this? You just click on jumping and proning at the same time you just have to learn the timing it's not easy but you can learn it if you put the time so in. guys now is the most important part which is shooting and just peeking and leaning and adding all your movement together movement is not only shooting and just crouching and moving it's all ad of adding everything together and making everything feel smooth and combined together so there's a, a ridge right over here. Do you see this a lot, especially on Miramar? This, uh, what I like to do in this situation, I like I use the situation to peek windows or to peek le ledges, just like this, especially in Miramar and and some other spot in Arangel. I like to take a shot, peek, stop peeking. You can also scope like this, crouch. When you learn this technique. When you crouch, you don't see the enemy. When you stand up, you see the enemy, just like this. When you get more advanced, you can add peeking. Let's go to the further away part, target. When you get more advanced, you add moving. I'm going to show you with a better scope. I use this a lot while I'm picking uh, ledges like this. And also when I'm picking windows. And I think you might need a claw for this, but if you're a good thumb user and you have like maybe two or three fingers you're using, you should be able to do it. Maybe you don't need to, cr to peek all the time, you can just stand up and do it like this. But you guys get the point. I'm going to show you what it looked like also in the house, so we can move to the next part. Alright, let's say there's an enemy. This is the enemy. I'm going to put a marker on him. And he sees you and he's locking the window. So, what I'd like to do is just pick a couple of seconds, shoot a couple of shots, pick the other window, shoot also a couple of shots, crouch again in between. You can add peeking like this, add crouching in between. This is so important, the more you do it, the, the better you can get out of it. Just like that. So, what's ha what we have next is Let's say there's someone shooting at me. What I like to do is either take cover 
and I like to do that while dodging as we learned earlier and jumping taking cover or I like to shoot at him let's say this is the target all right this is the target what I like to do is shooting at me I just full spray him and how do I do this I move crouch and shoot and lean at the same time if you want to do it a bit simple it's gonna look something like this scope in crouch shoot you add leaning to it and you add movement to it it's so deadly and I love to use this I've been learning it a lot lately and especially if you're using the MR let's say this is a rock I like to use this more with bolt action guns so this is like that and yeah that's it guys just add everything together to have the, f the smoothest and the best movement in the shortest time thank you so much guys for watching if you enjoyed this video drop a like let's see if we can hit 3000 likes i know you all have been waiting for this video and it took me a bit of time to make it and to get everything inside of it all the information you guys need so I would really appreciate a like and also check the links on the description about the videos that I've told you in the video if you are interested to learn more and check other videos too on the channel I have so much other content such as guides fun gameplays and quality conqueror games so thank you so much for watching and as always guys I will see you in the next video peace